Hey guys, Sam here with AccuFire Technology. Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna to be going over the AccuFire Noctis V1, the menu options, and all of your on-screen settings so that you have a better understanding of what your Noctis can do and how to operate it. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna do is power the scope on. And to do that, you hold the power button down for approximately five seconds until you see the AccuFire logo appear. And then you can release the button and let it continue to power up. Everything is controlled through the top selector knob here and as you turn it you'll see your selections turn red. Whatever is highlighted is your current selection. When you've reached the selection that you want simply one click on the selector button and that brings you into the menu. The top left selection is the zoom range for your picture-in-picture -picture top screen. It goes from 2.6 at the low end all the way up to a zoom of 6 at the high end. To exit that selection, simply click your selector button one time. The next selection is your distance. You set this if you're shooting and dialing for distance, you can select there or you can select this also whenever you're doing your zero. You do a 50 yard zero and select it. Run out to 100. Once you've selected the number you want, simply one click and you're back to shooting. And this dials to 500 yards. Your next selection is your bottom screen magnification, which is a one to 16. Again, click, turn, Click again to select. Your next selection is your hunt and observe mode. What that is, is hunt obviously is your screen you see now. Observe takes away your reticle, so if you're using this for any sort of scanning purposes or observation, you'd select that. Simply click back and forth to switch from one to the other. Your top right corner is your X and Y axis selection. That'll be used when sighting in, which we've gone over in a previous video. Down here on either side of your screen are your pitch indicator on your left and your roll indicator on your right. What that's going to tell you is the angle of cant that your rifle is currently at. So you see as I turn this, the one on the right moves, and as I turn left to right, our pitch indicator is shown. Across the bottom of the screen you have your Wi-Fi menu. This shows that the Wi-Fi is currently off. Your memory card indicator, which shows we currently have a memory card installed. Your battery level indicator, I'm currently running off of an external battery, which is why you see the charging symbol. Your cartridge selection or your bullet profile, which we have 223 selected. The sun icon indicates that we're on day mode. If we go to the menu, scroll over and select night mode, you'll see that switch to a moon. back today. The next indicator is your record indicator and then you have your time. To begin recording you'll press the power button two times and you'll see that switch to a solid red circle that then blinks to white and you'll see a timer start counting down your record time. Simply press it once to stop recording. To access your menu You'll hold down your selection knob for approximately two seconds. That brings up your menu. From here you can scroll left or right. First thing that comes up is day night mode. We showed how to select from that. Next is your zero library. This is where if you have your optic mounted on multiple weapon systems, you'd select which weapon system it was currently on. To access that, one click. This brings up an input screen. You'll select the first range with one click. You'll dial the first digit of the profile you have saved and hit enter. Select the next one. Dial to the next digit, hit enter. Select the next one. Dial to the next digit, hit enter. Then you'll go over to input and select that. And that's changed just to 308. It's important to remember whenever you are zeroing, always make sure that you enter a new profile before you start shooting. 
If you zero your weapon and then try and give it a name, it will actually revert your zero back to the factory reset. Next item in our menu is our settings. This is where we select if we want our Wi-Fi network open or closed. Our picture in picture, which is our top screen, open or closed. And then our screen brightness and turn down. Next selection is our reticle menu. You can go through here, we've got multiple reticle options. Choose the one that best suits you. Next we've got sleep mode, which temporarily powers down the scope. Now one great thing is if you're in sleep mode and you're using a iPad or a tablet or something and streaming your screen to that device, you can put this in sleep mode to conserve battery and still see the image on whatever device you're viewing on. To get out of sleep mode, simply press the power button one time and it powers back up. Next menu option is factory reset. You'd perform this if you're having any sort of software issues. You just simply hit accept. And the last menu option is the update. If we release any sort of software updates, we'll let you know via email and social media. You'll go to this screen, select that, and you'll see a note that there's an upgrade due. You'll plug it into your computer and follow the instructions. That covers all of the menu options and operation of the Actifier Noctis V1. If you have any questions, feel free to drop something in the comments below or reach out to us via email at info at Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.